Hello guys, I just want to show you here the set points for uh, come up uh, load shading for two uh, 800 kilowatt gen sets. Uh, let's start from the process control. Uh, this video is only to show you what are the set points specifically loaded to this controller so you will you will have some knowledge about the set points to be set on your come ups if you are doing a load shading so we have uh, the load control PTM with the load sharing and then the system base load is 700 kilowatts system power factor, sync enable this is the only thing that you will see on the process control then you go to the basic setting it's just a controller name here nominal power, current, CT ratio nominal voltage, PT ratio the, 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 these things are really necessary to make the syncing because you know the CT should be uh, from your genset side and then the ratio and everything is here the nominal voltage which is very essential nominal frequency, nominal load time, gear tease most of the time you keep this gear tease on uh, zero if you don't want to use the magnetic pickup input so they are not using that one, the controller mode is in off mode and then you have to give an address to it so the controller knows which one is the master and the slave mm, the compass mode Specifically, it's not using a con here. Manual. This is the engine setting. Starting RPM. Starting uh, frequency. Oh, pressure, pre-start time, maximum crank time, crank fail pause, crank attempts, idle time, minimum, main stable time, cooling speed, nominal. They didn't adjust the idle speed, so it will be with a normal RPM. Calling time, the dip plus is disabled. Hue frequency selection default, because the gen set that we are dealing here doesn't have an ECM. It's just a conventional type. Okay, you have all the warning pressures. This is a common setting. This it's not that much necessary in this one, but here you have. It's here. It's a general protection for system. So you have the overload BOC, overload delay, and short circuit, um, level delay stuff like that. Just keep on scrolling. Uh huh. This is the one we need. Power management. It's enable priority two. So this means this controller that I'm using right now is the slave one. Uh, the least priority number will be the master one. So if you have a system with a priority setting from zero to some amount of numbers, so the least one will be more prioritized. Sync. The speed governing character is a negative type. There are two types of governing character, the positive and the negative. So just take a look at that one before you just do your syncing. Speed governing bias, this is a very essential part. Speed governing low limit, speed governor high limit, uh, voltage window. This is the window that like before syncing, uh, like there is a window to check if the two gen set or more than one gen set is at that level so before syncing it will automatically check if the voltage is in the limited window as of for the phase window it's the degree for syncing it's the four degrees shows here so if it is beyond the 4 degree it will not sync, it will just 
wait for the genset frequency and voltage to match up so the moment they match up it will automatically fit it to the common load dwell time, frequency gain, frequency INT angle gain, load ramping, load gain uh, these things like you can google it what a load gain, what a load INT and stuff like that like it's better to do your homework first like before going to anything so just check out what's going on with this thing, know what's what's up afterwards you can go on this is the genset circuit breaker opening level opening delay, take time out it's just a time before you just go out of the sinking load sharing gain and INT okay voltage PF uh, this is for communication analog switch what we use on the system is the oil pressure and then the temperature for both uh, video type uh, oil pressure and temperature sensor so the switch will be on at 1.5 bar if it goes beyond that the jet set will not start Okay, we can save this one too. Oh. 20. Okay, this is it. So, after this, you can go to your genset and then check if the stated values are matching with the genset. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.